What is up guys, it's me the real deal, it's your boy Basecloy, and welcome to the first episode of our Blaze Black Egglock. First off, if you could just leave a like, that'd be awesome, but you know, if you're against that, you know, watch the whole video and then maybe I can change your mind, hopefully that's the case. But, um, we ended up getting about 50 eggs, which is awesome, thank you guys so much for all the eggs. I did cut some of them, but I took at least 10 if you sent 10. Now, um... If you would like to send more eggs, that is perfectly alright. I'm going to continue accepting eggs because we have enough to get through the game, but to make it more fun and have, you know, more randomness, more eggs would be more fun. So if you still want to send some eggs, that's fine. My email and my Skype are both in the description. If you don't know how to make them, there's already a video on how to make them. So it's easy. I cut to this part of the game and I just, you know, did the basics. I got my starter and the poke from the first round. So Centret Tepig. And we're going to trade both of those out for eggs and we will have our team set for the very beginning. And we need to get this tech speed up. I didn't do that. And everything else is good. And let's just go in here and pick ourselves an egg. All right. So let's look at some of the names. We got Reptar, we got Ric Flair. Um they were going to be in alphabetical order, but I think they, I thought they were in alphabetical order, but I guess they got, you know, randomized. But that's fine. Makes it a little easier. Um, yep, there we go. So we have 30 in this one, and we have 18. So 48 eggs. That's awesome. And let's look at We got Ric Flair, Reptar, Rocky, Rosemary, Alice, Danger Dude, Dandelion, Friggity, Fuck It. We have Fuck It. Little Master, Question Mark, Poe, Regina. But we're just going to randomly have a number generator on my phone I mean go load it right now this is some top quality editing because I'm not editing this out random number generator and also I guess I'll take this time to tell you if you are starting to think if Pokemon either isn't your thing or you're starting to think it's starting to get stale because everyone goes through that time I get it um I started a new series on the channel I'm probably a couple episodes in when this goes up, but it's called Moonrise, and it is amazingly fun, and it's like starting Pokemon as a kid all over again. And if you would like to watch that, it's on the channel. It's really fun. I'd really recommend if you go check that out. It's, you know, real fun. But I have the number generator. We're going to go 1 to 48, and whatever it gets, we'll do it twice, and those will be the two eggs. So we have number 29. So this egg right here, which is Poe. Poe. What could Poe be? And I don't think you can see my mouse, so I'm just going to use my mouse. And if you can, I mean, it's whatever. And we'll just put Tepig in for that. So this one will be level 6. And before I move, I need to grab the item off. If it does have one, which I'm guessing it does. Leftovers. But, oh. I can't grab... Wait. Oh, I think I know how to do it. I saw Nappy do it. That's the only reason I'm recommending that method. Because I'm not sure if it goes through... I forget, so I think you gotta do it like this, and then, no, yes, continue box, and then Poe, held items, oh, okay, never mind, oh, dang it, oh, stop, speeding up is gonna be the death of me, I can already tell, and Poe, and we'll add you, and you'll be for Tepig, and then we'll do the second one actually right now, I guess since I'm here, and it is number 21. So that's 18, 19, 20, 21. So we have Chimera, and it's holding leftovers too. Um, honestly, Poe sounds like Pancham, and it's not in this game. So, wait. No, it's not. It's a 6 gen. So, can't be that. But, alright, here's the first egg. This one will be level 6, and this is Poe. Poe, P-O-E, P-O-E. So let's see what we can get. This is exciting. Ooh. Ooh. Gothita? That's 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 slick. Like, it caught me off guard because you don't see Gothitas ever. Like, I cannot tell you the last time I watched a Gothita. I think one time I watched Callum have a Gothitelle, but never Gothita. That's I'm actually excited. Let's check that thing out. We gotta get to level 6 though first. I did hack the rare candies, that's how we get them to level 6. It's not really. And the item does go through, okay. But it's not. Oh, confusion. Let's see what moves you have Dark Pulse, Miracle Eye, Mirror Coat, and Uproar. That's sick. Miracle Eye is not really a good move though. It's a psychic dark in this game, thank the lord. But we'll keep Mirror Coat. We're gonna get rid of Miracle Eye for confusion just so it has a psychic type move. 4, 
five, and six. All right. And now we got to do the other egg, which is Camara. K-A-M-E-R-A. And hopefully this one is just as good. That would be awesome if we get two awesome eggs. Hopefully it's not the same thing, though. Because there is no dupes clause in an egg lock. Not that I know of, at least. It's a Squirtle! Awesome. So we got a Water type and a Psychic Dark type. So we're definitely starting off pretty nice. It's... Oh. Okay, I'll use the mouse. Normally don't, but I guess I'll use it now. Camara. And I wonder if this thing has some nice moves on it. I need to check the natures from too. That would be awesome. But you're a guy, so we're we're broing out to start off. Tail whip. So you got four moves. You do have that. Brine Tackle, Water Spout, Yawn. That's not the worst, but it's not the best. You know, I'll take it. I will definitely take it. And I'm loving that Pokeball choice. I'm not sure what it is. It's hard. I th is it like a timer? No, maybe? I don't know, but we don't need Tail Whip. We have a decent move set with Brine. I'll take it. I like Brine. And let's just put the Pokes in the PC, and we can finally get this started. We're about five minutes in. And... Yeah, there. Oh, I guess you're going in there. I mean, it doesn't really matter. They're just taking spots. Yeah, sure. Um, so yes, bold nature. So it's a defensive one, and it's got leftovers. I think you both have leftovers. Yeah, and you got sturdy? I didn't know we got in that game. But a relaxed nature, I forget what that does, but it's not terrible. So bold is, I, it's all right. It, lower, it raises defenses, so it's defensive, and it's got magic balance, so that's really helpful. I think we're going to use Poe to start off with, but I'm definitely going to give them both some training. Now let me buy some potions, because I think I was supposed to, and even if I wasn't, I could definitely use them. Because if they're going to give us the extra money, I mean, why not? And then we'll snag two Pokeballs. Oh, I guess we'll snag one Pokeball. You know what? No, we're buying the extra Pokeball. Ah, the receipts that we're going to get from all these purchases. This is not going to look good on my credit card. But we come out here... Sounds like something's going on in the plaza. And, wait, oh, shoot, hold on. Well, let's take a little look and see. Get ready for some serious storyline. I better prepare. Oh, I got a burp. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> Chloe, come here a sec. Oh, and here he comes. My name is Getsus. I am here representing Team Plasma. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to talk to you about Pokemon Liberation. I'm not sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners that have come to live together because we want and need each other. However, is that really the truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that this is the truth? Pokemon are subjects to the selfish commands of trainers. They get pushed around when they are partners at work. Can anyone say with confidence that there is no truth in what I'm saying? Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different from humans. They are living beings that contain unknown potential. They are living beings from whom we humans might have much to learn. Tell me, what is our responsibility towards these wonderful beings called Pokemon? That's right, we must liberate the Pokemon. Then, and only then, will humans and Pokemon truly be equals. Everyone, I end my words here today by imploring you to consider the relationship between people and Pokemon, and the correct way to proceed. We sincerely appreciate your attention. Alright. I, I I just winged it with the Getz's voice, I don't know, that kind of sounded intimidating, so I'll go with it. older man about that speech what do you think we should do that that's not what he probably sounds like but we'll go with it liberate pokemon that's not even possible and then it's just us and good old in and good old in and he's gonna come talk to us your pokemon just now it was saying slow down you talk too fast even though i said that extremely slowly but we're gonna continue to say it slowly and what's this about Pokemon? Talking? That's an odd thing to say. Yes, they're talking. Oh, then you two can't hear it either. How sad. My name is N. My name is Charon, and this is Kaloi. 
We were asked to complete the Pokedex, and we left on our journey. My main goal is to become the champion, though. The Pokedex, eh? So, you're gonna come find many, many Pokemon and Pokeballs for that, then? I'm a trainer, too, but I can't help wondering. Are Pokemon really happy that way? Well, Chloe, isn't it? Let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. And here we go. That's... He has three Pokemon. I remember playing this game once before. This is a hard fight. Because of levels. Because we're only level 6 and level 4. We probably should have trained. But we didn't. But it's okay. Oh, let's hope he does... Oh, no. If he has a Bug-type move, we're dead. Being twice... You know, er, he is double super effective against us. Let me take a drink as we switch. Oh yeah, we would have died. Hands down. Okay, it doesn't do half, and we get leftovers. So, water spout. We get two down on the XP. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm going to try and not super speed. I know I did there, but I'm going to try to unsuper speed him. And we get use a brine, and there he goes, awesome. But that was hard. I mean, look at all the Chimera took. Will we level up at least? I think we should. Yeah, all right, we leveled up. That's cool. And I think we learn a move. Okay, no, we don't. We're not good enough. And we get a little bit of leftovers boost, but only one HP, and it's a Mankey. I think Poe can take this on with confusion. It should be able to at least. And then the last Pokemon, I'm pretty sure, is his... Ooh, I forget the name. The cat. Krilloin. We could mirror code it, but I'm sure he's not going to go for a special move. I mean, he might. Oh, we're faster. Ooh, with Helmus killed. Don't do a lot. Don't do a lot. We're bold. Ooh, that didn't do anything. Dude, Poe's defensive. Poe's thick. That a boy, Poe. All right, so there we go. Mankey down, and the last one's going to be Purloin. I'm assuming I could be wrong always. But I'm going to take a tickle. What's your fourth move? Uproar? Mm, no. Uh, no, tickle could help, though. Because mm, mm, it lowers attack and defense. No, only be we're a special attacker. Tickle will not help us. It'll only weaken them. Like, it's just not worth it, I don't think. Nope, stop. I said no. Oh, we leveled up twice. Not a boy, Poe. Level 8? You need to, like, slow down. Take a chill pill, Poe. But you're already at uh, Purloin. Okay. Already at max. And are you level 6 or 8? 6, okay. Let's just Dark Pulse and see what it does. And if not, we'll uproar. Ooh, that did, that did decent. And he flinched. Poe, this is going to be a good friendship. I can already tell. I like that little tune that Dark Pulse does. I've never really listened to it, but I've never really played this game with headphones. As if you didn't know, the fifth gen was kind of the gen that I didn't play a whole lot. Um, I am upset. Oh, hold on. Dialogue. As long as Pokemon are confined in Pokeballs, Pokemon will never become perfect beings. I have to change the world for Pokemon because they're my friends. And then I'm sure Charon will say something stupid. Huh, strange guy. Hey, hey, ends my friend. He has a good taste and style for a Pokemon game. But I'm not going to worry about it. Trainers and Pokemon help each other out. Listen, I'm going on ahead. I want to battle the gym leader in the next town, Straden City. Aim to battle gym leader after gym leader. The best way for a trainer to become stronger is to challenge gym leaders in each area. Okay, now we're on our own. Um, the fifth gen was kind of the generation I didn't play that much. Um, I was obsessive, and I would always play over and over and over Pokemon games just to find everything like if that's why if I play games from say the first generation there are items that I can find that are hidden and little tricks that not many people know because I played through the game so much and found these things but this game I'll only be twice and to some of you twice may sound like a lot but that's the least out of any game the next one would be six gen and I've beat that five times I mean, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire I only beat once, but I beat the originals countless times, so I consider that good enough. And here we go. It is August 7th. It is tax-free day, which means, I don't know if this is worldwide. I, I think it is, but I'm not sure. It's pretty much, if you're buying school supplies, there's no tax. 
or close over $75, so it's awesome. Chloe, it's your mom. How are things? Are you and your Pokemon getting along and enjoying your journey so far? I need to talk to you, so I called up, but I'm going to hang up the X transceiver now. Chloe, I finally caught up with you, and look how far you've come already. Professor Juniper said that you were probably head for Straighten City by now. I have an air present for you, Chloe. Try these on. And we get some running shoes, so that is awesome. When you're wearing the running shoes, you can go anywhere in a flash. Let me read you the instructions. Hold the B button to run faster than normal. Put on the running shoes and tear around the heart's consent. That's what it says, at least. I bought these a long time ago and search stashed them somewhere. I found them when I was cleaning up. Guess it's good to clean occasionally. Cool, you understand you're never really alone, right? You're with Pokemon. You have friends, and you always are in my thoughts. That's all right, then. Enjoy your trip. And we get a new encounter right here. That means a new egg. And we're going to put Chimera up because he's a lower level. And we're facing probably a lot of bug types. So not Poe. You know, it's all Caterpie. Caterpie would have fucked Poe up. But just get that out of the way. That's obvious. This thing's... Oh, it, oh, it actually would have. It knows Bug Bite and Struggle Bug? Yeah, it would have messed Poe up. Let's be real. But this thing's level 7, so don't kill it. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Okay, good. He's messing Chimera up. Okay, this Caterpie is lethal. We need to get this thing out of here. It releases a stench from its red antenna to repel enemies. It grows by molting repeatedly. Hmm. Okay, fair enough. Um, let's grab that item. Get out here, Patrat. You've had your chance. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, you know what? Nope, not worth it. Not worth it. Poe, get out there. Um, sure, Dark Pulse it. Get out of our mentions, Patrat. And low 9 6. There we go. Um, that wasn't my intentions, but it helped. And we got a potion. Great. Which I'm probably going to have to use a potion to get out of here. Uh... Okay. Yep. 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 We are healing, and then we are leaving. In that order. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, that didn't do a lot. Stop! This is annoying. Can you not? I'm serious. Please? I will pay you. Thank you. He's got to offer him money. That's the key to, you know, winning egg locks and such. But I'm probably going to end the episode off after this egg, but we get in a new egg, so that's awesome. I don't think I'm going to grind or anything, because it's the first episode. We don't really need to grind. It's just going to be trainers. I'll train at the beginning of the next episode. But let's get an egg. And this will be for a level 7 Caterpie, so it's not going to be too underleveled. That's actually pretty nice. And the generator says number 14. So there's six on each row, so it's this one right here, which is Femi Fatale. But that is too many letters. So Femi Fatal? Or I could just call it Femi. Um, it's up to them, really. But it'll be level 7. Femi... I'll just call it Femi Fatal, and we'll see. I'm guessing... I could be wrong. I'm guessing that it is a Dust Skull because it's holding the Dust Stone. But I'm not sure. Alright. Let's hatch this egg. Let's see what we got. Dun, bum, 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 down, bam, 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 bam. Ooh. Ooh, it's a Murkrow. I am okay with this. Can we evolve it now? Dude, we could evolve this thing right now. It came with the Dust Stone. Is that overpowered? I think that's too overpowered. We gotta wait. We, we cannot evolve this thing now. It's And I'm just gonna call it Femi Fatal. If you did send this egg and would like it to be preferred something else... If you would just like it Femi or Fatal, or if I'm pronouncing it wrong even, because I might be, just comment and I'll have it changed in Pokegen. There's no problem. Awesome. And this thing's going to get to level 7. If this thing is adamant... Mm. Pursuit. Let's see what you got. 
That's that's lethal. That is definitely lethal. No, we don't need this. This move set's good for now, at least. Yeah. And seven. Let's take that Death Stone from you too. We don't want you, you know, evolving yet. But yeah, I'm definitely liking the team Adamant Nature too. This thing is amazing. Ah. Uh, uh. Let's see when I got all these. 8787? 56 2014. That's an old egg. <laughs> and look at these stats. Super luck? Oh my goodness. Yep. I'm liking this team. I am definitely liking this team. But with that note, we are going to end it off today. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed and are pumped for the egg lock as much as I am, make sure to leave a like button. It really does mean a lot and shows your support on the series. But that's going to be all for today. I'm out.